Josephine's Place is a storefront community center for women located in Elizabeth, New Jersey. It's, it's really a, a space where women can come, meet other women, and um, form community together, and really uh, are there for each other. Josephine's Place is, is reflective of what the women said they themselves want and need. One thing that happens in this place is these women, no matter what country they come from, are he here in America now. They have to, uh, any donation that we get helps to empower them, first of all, to know America and to be at home here and uh, eventually to become good citizens. My mom loves this place. Like every time she comes home, and she, she'll be like, "Oh, everyone's so nice. Uh, Sister Judy's nice," and she'll like talk about people. And I'll be like, "Oh, they seem like great people." And then when I met them all, I thought they're doing wonderful things, helping people out. And I think it's a great place. A lot of them have no clue what's available out there until they come here, and Sister Judy shares it all with them. Also, they make good friends here together. They encourage one another. It's a tranquil, peaceful, safe, secure space. It's a place where women can come meet other women. It's a place where women are learning skills, where um, women, especially moms, can be, uh, learn how to be better moms. It's a place where moms have, bring their children, and the children are uh, learning what their moms are. Josephine's place is is everything to Elizabeth. Uh, Josephine's place is to come and visit. Open the door, walk in, and experience the life and the spirit that's here. Come and see. My name is Armando J. Dierico. I'm the owner of a NJ Community Development Group, LLC. NJ Community Development Group decided to invest in Elizabeth because it, we believe that Elizabeth is, is a place of business opportunity. The Emma Street Project is a multi-phase project where ourselves and our partners with the City of Elizabeth and the County of Union helped compile the funding necessary to revitalize uh, this Curie Head neighborhood. We got rehabilitated these houses, did structural improvements as well as cosmetic improvements to them. Elizabeth is a great place for a business to invest in because of its strong leadership, cultural diversity. For us, it was really, so to speak, a no-brainer. I actually have a place that I'm proud of. I, I love calling this place home. It um, gives me a great sense of community, and it's a great way to start off the new year for me, like something new, positive. I'm, I'm in love with my place. I feel safe. It's a lot of neighborhood kids around that makes it like playful and nice to live here. As long as you stay positive and don't go too far off the lane, you you meet other nice people and I love it. I, I like Elizabeth. I like it. I fit in well here. Hi, my name is Joey and I've been in Restore for about say four or five years. My name is Carlos Santamanias and I've been in Restore for uh, five years. Hi, my name is Garza Caminero. I've been going to Restore for five years now. I'm Rizia Phillip. I've been here since for like almost the whole school year. My name is Shantiana Grant and I have been attending Restore for two years. My name is Brian Wapa. I've been Restore about three years. My name is Devon Kawa. Um, I'm a senior. I've been here for two years now. My name is Elmi and I've been at Restore for five years. My name is Beltran David and I've been coming to Restore Ministry for seven years. What Restore means to me is like, like basically everybody has like a second family to me. Restore means like a home to me. Restore is like, I guess it's like a family. Yeah, it's like home basically. What Restore means to me is opportunity. Um, they gave me an opportunity. It's like a second family that you can go to no matter what. It plays a family role in my life. I feel safer. No one's gonna judge you. Like, they make me do my homework. I don't think I'll ever do my homework if I was just to go straight home. It's taken me on, uh, you know, places I've never been or would think I'd ever be going. Graduate, I'm going to the Marines. I've already enlisted, and then after the Marines, I get out. I'll go ahead into college. I want to go to college for engineering. 
So I, I got accepted to NJIT in Newark. I'm going to college, um, community college. I'm going to Fairleigh Dickinson University to study business. I plan to attend NJIT, the New Jersey Institute of Technology, and hopefully become an engineer. Going to college, of course. Doing computer uh, engineering, business and marketing. I am going to art school in Cleveland, Ohio. Me graduating means basically a better life. It means a lot. Both of my parents didn't graduate from high school, so I want to be the first. It means a lot to make my family happy and proud. Gra a lot. Of, it means graduation. It means everything, especially to me. You know, my mom passed away, so that was a promise I told to her because of the trouble, the amount of trouble that I was getting into. She told me, she just, she just promised me that you at least graduate. Though. If I wasn't in the store, I don't think I would be in school. My grades would probably be lacking, and I'd probably be a, a shy person still. Probably home on the streets, probably doing something bad. I wouldn't have been exposed to art, which is like my passion in life. I love doing art, and I wouldn't be going to the Cleveland Institute of Art in Ohio. Well, oh, they're special people. And then what Bagby, from a personal note, I mm. love him. He's always been there. He's someone I could talk to, someone I trust. They mean so much because like, they could be doing anything else, but they helping younger boys, like keeping them out of trouble. That's cool because, I mean, I haven't had anybody sit there and work with me. Gives it from the heart. Don't look for nothing back. Only, the only thing that he wants back is blue grades. Hi, I'm Captain Sebastian Leonardi from the Salvation Army and Elizabeth. Uh, we're located in 1005 East Jersey Street and 1018 East Grand where we have our shelter for men and women. We are here at the feeding program where we serve about 200 people a day, uh, the last 10 days of every month. Families, uh, individuals, uh, homeless people, uh, working people. The CBDG money has been a, a vital source of uh, income. When we first started here seven years ago, our feeding program was only about 100 people a day. Now we have 200 people a day. And it used to be just homeless people that will come to, to the feeding program. Now it's families, kids, everybody, working people. Uh, everybody is, is in need. And uh, if we can do much more, uh, we'll be very happy to do much more. And so we're glad that we are able to help those people as much as we can. We have a lot of successful stories where they found apartment, where they found careers, where they were able to go back to school, back to work. Uh, and in return, they have come back to our shelter to volunteer, paint, uh, do some repair, uh, help in any way possible. And I think that's a, a good positive thing about what we do. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the CDBG for allowing us to come with this money to help uh, as many people as we can in, in the community of Elizabeth.